Have you ever wondered why nitrogen is used in inflating aircraft tyres instead of air? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? Most of us, when we think of inflating tyres, our minds immediately go to air. After all, it's what we use for our cars and bicycles, right? But when it comes to the aviation industry, things are a bit different. The choice isn't air, but rather nitrogen. Now you might be scratching your head and thinking, why so? Well, today we're going to unravel this mystery. First, let's understand what nitrogen is. Nitrogen is a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas that makes up 78% of our atmosphere. Nitrogen's popularity in inflating aircraft tires boils down to a few key properties. Let's delve into the science behind these characteristics and how they contribute to safer, more reliable flights. Firstly, nitrogen is incredibly stable. The stability of nitrogen is due to its molecular structure. Nitrogen molecules are larger and slower moving than those of oxygen. This means that nitrogen is less likely to seep out of the microscopic pores in a tire, helping maintain consistent tire pressure over a longer period. Consistent tire pressure is crucial for aircraft tires as it ensures the plane has a stable and predictable contact with the ground, especially during landing and takeoff. Secondly, nitrogen is less reactive than oxygen. It doesn't react readily with other elements or compounds under common conditions. This characteristic is particularly important when considering the high temperatures and pressures aircraft tires are subjected to. Oxygen, which makes up about 21% of air, can react with rubber at high temperatures, causing the tires to degrade faster. Nitrogen, being less reactive, minimizes this risk, extending the lifespan of the tires. Finally, nitrogen has a low moisture content. Air can hold a significant amount of water vapor, which can lead to pressure variations with temperature changes. During a flight, the aircraft's altitude and speed can cause significant temperature fluctuations, which could potentially affect the tire pressure if the tires were inflated with air. Nitrogen, however, is typically dry, which means it doesn't carry this same risk. It provides a more predictable and stable tire pressure, regardless of the external conditions. So it's clear that nitrogen's unique properties make it a safer and more reliable choice for inflating aircraft tires. By understanding the science behind nitrogen inflation, we can appreciate the careful considerations that go into ensuring our flights are as safe and smooth as possible. Now you might be thinking, but isn't air mostly nitrogen anyway? Why can't we just use that? Good point, but let's dive a little deeper. Air, as we breathe it, is indeed about 78% nitrogen. The remaining 22%, however, is a mix of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and a variety of other gases. Moreover, air contains moisture. Now, this might seem harmless, but when it comes to aircraft tire inflation, it can be problematic. The presence of moisture can lead to pressure changes within the tire, especially during altitude and temperature variations that are common in flights. These pressure changes can compromise the integrity of the tire, leading to potential safety concerns. Nitrogen, being a dry gas, doesn't have this issue. It provides a more stable pressure, ensuring safer and more efficient flights. Therefore, despite being mostly nitrogen, air's additional components make it a less ideal choice for aircraft tire inflation. In conclusion, the use of nitrogen in aircraft tires is not just a whimsical choice. It's a decision based on solid scientific principles. We've delved into the properties of nitrogen, its stability, and low moisture content, which make it ideal for tire inflation. We've also discussed why air, despite being readily available, doesn't make the cut due to its variable properties under pressure and temperature changes. So the next time you see an airplane, remember, there's a lot more science going on than meets the eye, even in the tires.